హలో చిల్డ్రన్ ఐఎమ్ మిసెస్ త్రివేణి సురేష్ బాబు సోషల్ సైన్స్ టీచర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఆఫ్ మోర్ దెన్ ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు స్కిల్ జరి కన్సల్టింగ్ లాస్ట్ లెసన్ వి లర్న్ అబౌట్ ద డిఫరెంట్ స్టోన్ ఏజెస్ టుడే యాక్చువల్లీ వీ ఆర్ మూవింగ్ టు హిస్టారిక్ పీరియడ్ ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ ఇన్ ద ప్రీవియస్ క్లాస్ దట్ హిస్టారిక్ పీరియడ్ ఈజ్ ఎ పీరియడ్ వే విల్ గెట్ definite documents or evidences so in this lesson you are going to learn about ancient civilization i am going to introduce sixth standard karnataka straight board syllabus lesson number 4 ancient civilization this lesson introduces some of the important or prominent civilization of egypt mesopotamia china greek and rome and in this lesson you are going to learn about the contributions also now let us move on to the content of the lesson what all you are going to study in this lesson understand the importance of river valleys in the development of the civilizations second point is to know about the political history of each civilization political aspects how they formed the state how they ruled what was the political organization and third point to know about the greek city states how the greek city states came into prominence and their contributions and the fourth point you will learn about two important figures historical figures or political figures julius caesar and augustus caesar now let us know why these civilization almost all civilizations of the world flourished on the bank of the river you know very well children food water air light are needed for the survival of the men along with that other basic needs are also there such as shelter clothing etc now there will be favorable weather condition on the bank of the river availability of plenty of water and for the people and the animals so this forced the men to settled down on the bank of the river river banks became the cradle of civilization cradle means tottilu tottilu means origin birth place important birth place of the civilization that is why bank river banks came to be called as the cradle of civilization where the civilization took their birth or the origin now birth egyptian civilization flourished on the bank of the river nile now i will tell you one by one which were the rivers on which important civilizations were started or originated egyptian civilization was flourished on the river nile mesopotamia on the banks of the river euphrates and tigris chinese civilization flourished on the bank of hango and angatse kiang harappa and mohenjo daro civilization took place or took birth or flourished on the bank of the river indus if you look at the page number 69 map you will have a clear picture on how these four civilization where they took place you must observe very closely the maps in the textbook now let us move to the egyptian civilization as the first civilization we are learning to go learn learning about some aspects of the egyptian civilization now this is considered as the first ancient civilization ancient means oldest it was i told you already that egyptian civilization originated or took birth are formed on the bank of the river nile nile is the longest river in the world and it is a major north flowing river children in africa river nile is in the continent of africa and it flows north and joins the mediterranean sea if you want to understand clearly you should look at the map you will you can locate the mediterranean sea nile river also without nile egypt would have been a desert so egypt is also called as the gift of the nile egypt is the gift of the nile because nile has made the egypt to flourish its civilization and it became a world famous oldest civilization now let us learn about the political history of the egyptian civilization see here the rise of political dynasties it dates back to 5400 years ago that means uh, political dynasties means kingdoms children small kingdoms are called as dynasties it was started about 5400 years ago kings of the egypt were called as pharaohs 
once again I'll tell you kings of the Egypt were called as pharaohs Menes was the first pharaoh or the first king of the Egypt and Memphis was the capital of the these kings or it was the important political it was the important political center of the Egyptian civilization other important pharaohs were Menes, Khufu, Amenhotep, Thomas etc and in Giza see now when we go to the other aspects of the uh, or the architecture Giza there is a great pyramid it is considered as the largest pyramid in the world built by the King Khufu or the now Amenhotep conquered many areas Amenhotep is an important or he was considered as an important pharaoh or the king of Egypt who conquered many areas and expanded the kingdom he made or he expanded the Egyptian kingdom by acquiring the or surrounding areas. Tutmose first was the greatest conqueror. Conqueror means uh, ambitious to conquer the other areas and expanded the kingdom. He had a daughter. Hatsheput. He had a daughter by name Hatsheput. He became, she became the first empress, empress of the world. Empress means emperor, feminine gender, empresses. Maharani are the ruler. About 2300 years ago, Alexander the Great conquered the Egypt. Now, Egypt is a, Egypt became a well civilized center. Many pharaohs expanded the kingdom. The Alexander of Greek Greece country, he had an eye on this Egypt and he conquered. He had a very strong military general. In future, you will learn about this. He, he had a general by name Ptolemy. He was very intelligent and very strong. See what Alexander did. He conquered Egypt, but he did not stay there. He left his general Ptolemy to look after the uh, conquered areas of the Egypt. And what this Ptolemy did? So Ptolemy, he himself, he was just a representative, but in later, later years, he became the ruler and thus the Ptolemy dynasty came into existence or established. The dynasty was named after the person Ptolemy, who was the general or the military chief of the Alexander. Cleopatra was one of the popular queen in the last ruler of this dynasty. This dynasty means Ptolemy dynasty. Cleopatra was known for her beauty. There is an English movie, children. If you get a chance, if you go to YouTube, you can see that she was very beautiful. She ruled for some time. Thus, the Ptolemy came into the, see, the Ptolemy rule came into the end. Now, Egypt, later on, in the later years, Egypt became a province of the Rome. I think you have understood about the political story of the Egypt. How the pharaohs ruled, how they extended the, this thing, then the empresses came, then the Ptolemy, the Alexander conquered. After Alexander, Ptolemy was appointed as a ruler. Ptolemy, Cleopatra became the last ruler and now the dynasty will be will go into the hands of the Egypt or it became Rome. Sorry children, Egypt became a province of the Rome. Province means state. It was now contributions. Now let us learn about some of the contributions of the Egyptian civilization or the aspects. You can also say that aspects of or futures of the Egyptian civilization. Wheat and barley were the main food crops of this people. Water from Nile was used for agriculture. They knew the construction of canals. So canals were, they constructed canals long back, thousands of years ago. Men knew the or agriculturists or the Egyptian civilization people knew the construction of canals. Another one bad aspect of this organization or this civilization was slavery children. It was a black mark of the ancient Egyptian civilization. Slavery means dasatva or the people. The people were purchased by the rich people. Poor people or the poor laborers were purchased by the rich people and they took a lot of work from the slaves. They were ill-treated. They gave the punishment. Slavery exited. And the condition of the slaves was pathetic. Pathetic means very sorrowful, sad, miserable. They suffered a lot under the powerful people. 
women were given important status in the society this is one of the important aspect of the egyptian civilization women had given respect and value in the society belief in life there was a belief of belief in among the egyptians about the death important see women believed in life after death they believed that there is life after death once again the death person will get the life thinking that they, while burying the dead bodies they kept so many necessary things needed by the men so they built tombs they preserved the dead bodies so they did not uh, do anything they preserved by using so many thing they kept uh, daily needs uh, sub, uh, things from along with the dead body and the preserved dead bodies were called mummy m u m m y see children if you call your mother as mummy it's a wrong you said you said you should say mom or mamma you should say if you say mummy Uh, most of you are in the habit of calling your mother mummy mummy means preserved dead body in egypt were called as mummy now each society had guardian goddesses guardian goddesses means uh, if you go to village there will be grama devate you know whole village will worship one goddess in the same way there were uh, is each society had a guardian goddesses they believed that this goddesses will look after them and it will she will look after the welfare of the people sun and rivers were the objects of worship say sun and river were worshiped even now today we worship sun this concept is now also existing rivers jal jala gange even now also we worship scripts known as hieroglyphics now what were the type of writing the scripts known by the egyptians were called as hieroglyphics means sacred writing of the egyptians was called as hieroglyphics see now how did they write ancient egyptians wrote on papyrus there was a plant called papyrus papyrus grass it is said that broad leaves were there they wrote by using the ink just imagine children thousands of years ago egyptians knew the use of ink for writing they i think papyrus came to be called as later on paper only i think that concept slowly papyrus came to be known as paper and now in modern days we use paper for writing see this papyrus tree was growing in plenty on the bank of the river nile they had great knowledge of geometry you know geometry in mathematics you will study about geometry you will learn about the angle square rectangle etc no need to say you will study they had such a good knowledge of geometry they used this knowledge of geometry in building pyramids pyramids are the triangular shaped gigantic building built by the ancient egyptian people it is said that slaves were used to build this huge pyramids there is an example there is a large statue of sphinx is the it is most attractive architecture of the civilization sphinx is said to have the body of the lion and head of the man so far we learned about the how the nile and nail uh, served has the flourishing or it how he helped the egyptians to develop the civilization then the political aspects their food habits how they improved how they built the canals how the rulers improved the civilization how they contributed for the architecture all aspects you learn thank you children thank you for listening